It's time for another Debt Snowball update. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Kamika, and this is Well Balanced Wallet, where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. Today, we're going to take a look at the October Debt Snowball update. So first up, we'll talk about the budget. October's budget was okay. It wasn't anything spectacular, and we didn't spend anything crazy. Um, during the month of October, the only thing that we did, I believe, is go to the cabins. We went to um, some cabins in a part of Georgia that we've never been before. We are headed camping. We have no idea where we're going. Kamika has found us a spot and gave us no information. She has no information. Bears out here? No. Why? Because bears don't live in East, you know, South Georgia. Yes, they do. Yeah. There's black bears in our city, in my hometown. For well, real. if it's a bear, then we get <laughs> up Shit's Creek, literally. <laughs> uh, we were able to sit outside and grill, and my husband was able to fish. I sat outside and read my book while he was fishing. I was reading, I think it's called Love Hypothesis and it's pretty good so far. So I had a good time just sitting out there for a couple of hours, reading my book. Um, we were able to just spend time with each other away from home and um, it was a good time. Like I mentioned, we didn't go too crazy in the budget. We didn't spend all of our grocery money and we didn't spend all of our eating out money. And that's because when we went to the cabins, we did uh, pick up groceries for that, but we used our fun money category because we weren't gonna be at home. Uh, so we don't consider that grocery money. And um, we also didn't buy groceries when we got back and the month changed to November. And also we didn't eat out much in October because we're trying to focus on our health a little bit and um, eat foods that are better for us. Even though we don't eat out a ton anyway, we just eat out a lot less in October. Um, one category that did go crazy in October was the medical category. And I'll talk more about that during the debt snowball portion, but that was crazy. Oh, we did have $180 towards car maintenance during October. Uh, my mom borrowed my car for a little while and they got some work done on my car while they had it. So I got my tire pressure sensors replaced. I got my headlight replaced and I got my brakes tuned up or whatever they needed to do to the brakes. So the total for that was $180. Um, so we did pay for that in October. And I can't think of anything else that happened in the budget. So all was well in the budget. Moving on to the debt snowball portion, we paid our mortgage, which is $1407.91. And then we also paid an extra 169 towards principal for a total of $1,576.91. So that is just the usual amount that we paid. And um, this is our current mortgage balance. In addition to that, we put $20 each towards our student loan categories because um, we're just building that back up for January when payments resume. Okay, so for medical expenses. You all know that we keep $600 in our medical category and uh, that tends to be enough to at least pay minimum payments on uh, some of the things that we are working on with our doctors. But in October, we paid $1,103.24 towards medical expenses and it came from all over the place. So we paid some towards a medical bill that we had with our doctors. Um, we both got glasses and contacts in October. So we paid for both of those. Um, we paid a little towards our care credit, which is what we use to pay medical bills that we don't have the money for and the place doesn't offer a payment plan. Um, so we just had a lot of stuff going on with the medical expenses category this month, which brought it down to zero dollars. 
um, at the end of October. So we are working in November to build that back up to at least the $600. And we are still working to pay additional bills while we're doing all of this. Um, so I still need to figure out what bills still need to be paid and how much needs to be paid on all of them. But hopefully I can give you guys a total in the November debt snowball update and I can hopefully get all of it paid off before January. So we will see, but that is where a big chunk of our money went in October. And I'm thankful that we had money in our budget that we can move around to pay for some of these things. But also healthcare is very expensive, even if you have insurance, so it is what it is. Okay, so moving on to our savings goals. Um, we are currently just putting money into our new car category. And being that we had so much money um, funneling out of our budget for medical expenses in October, we didn't add any additional money to our new car category other than the 199.30 that we put there um, during the budget with me for October because all of the extra money that we had in our budget this month went towards medical expenses. So this is our current balance for our new car category and um, we know how to prioritize our budget so if we have more pressing things to put money towards we're not going to fund this category as much as we would if it was just a regular smooth month in our budget so um, like I said I'm just thankful to have this type of flexibility and if worse comes to worse, we can start moving money from the new car category to whatever money needs to go to. But we do have an emergency fund in our budget as well. I don't talk about it much because it's one of those things that gets funded during my um, payday routine which if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out here. But we do have an emergency fund if we need it. So um, just keep that in mind when you see me talk about these huge totals. We haven't had to pull from our emergency fund yet and I don't anticipate us having to use it anytime soon, but it is there if we need it. Um, so yeah, that is what October looks like as far as paying down debt and saving money towards our new car category. Leave a comment below to let me know how your debt snowball went in October and let me know if there are any videos that you would like to see on Well Balanced Wallet. That's all for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and click the link on your screen right now for more Well Balanced Wallet content. See you there.